So today I'm talking about a P0137 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0137 code? Well, it's an oxygen sensor circuit low voltage bank one sensor two. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called oxygen sensors and they're located down on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the computer uses that information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And the second thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. But when you get this P0137 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these sensors, mainly the bank one sensor two O2 sensor. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's gonna have two banks. Bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And the opposite of that would be bank two. So if you Google your engine and like cylinder location or firing order or something like that, and you find the number one cylinder on your engine, since there can be differences, that's going to be the bank one side, and that's going to be the side of the engine the computer's seeing a problem with. If you have a four-cylinder engine, then it wouldn't matter because you only have one bank. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0137 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad bank one sensor two O2 sensor. This is going to be the second sensor going down on the exhaust. It'll be located either right on the catalytic converter or right after it. It's also called the downstream O2 sensor. Sensor one is called the upstream and sensor two is called the downstream. And so the first thing to do is go locate that sensor on your particular vehicle and do some tests to see if it has gone bad. There's some different ways to go about testing those O2 sensors. I made some YouTube videos on this. I'll put a link down below in the description if you need to check that out. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad bank one sensor two oxygen sensor. The next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue inside the wiring going to the O2 sensor. If there's anything going on inside the wiring, like an open or a short or something like that, then that's going to cause problems. And so if you have a multimeter, you can get a wiring diagram for your specific vehicle. And since again, there will be differences, and you can check and be sure that you're getting voltage, that you got a good ground, that the wires running back to the computer, the signal wires, that those are good. Also, one thing to keep in mind with these is that these can be on a fuse sometimes and sometimes a relay. Usually that's going to be for the heater element that's built into those sensors. There's a heater element inside of those sensors that help it heat up quicker because it can't get accurate readings until it gets hot. So the heater element in there helps everything warm up really fast. So the O2 sensor side can start getting accurate information much faster. So there's usually two sides to these sensors. There's a heater element that makes it heat up quicker. And then there's an oxygen sensor side and that's detecting how much oxygen there is inside the exhaust. And again, you will have to get a schematic for your vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But just keep in mind that these can be on a fuse and sometimes a relay. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's a lean running condition with the engine. And this basically means that there's more air going into the engine than gas going into the engine. Although usually if this happens, you're going to get other codes. One thing that can throw these sensors off and cause them to think that there's a lean running condition is that if there's an exhaust leak that's allowing outside air to go into the exhaust, then that can throw off these sensors. So be sure to keep a lookout for any exhaust leaks going on because that can sometimes cause issues. And another thing to note is that the engine is running inside of a lean condition for some reason. Usually you're going to get another code. So for example, you might get like a P2096 code, post catalyst fuel trim system two lean bank one or something along these lines. You'll be getting another code on the engine that's causing the lean condition and then the sensors are picking this up because the engine's not running correctly. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the last thing on the list could be that the engine's running in a lean condition. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0137 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.